Alright, so we can already say that Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time are next to each other on the timeline, as well as Zelda 1 and 2 and Wind Waker, Phantom Hourglass, and Spirit Tracks. Minish Cap is a little strange, but since we know that the Pikori Blade becomes the Four Sword, Four Swords, the Minish Cap, and Four Swords Adventure should be relatively close to one another. A Link to the Past and Link's Awakening and the Oracle games are all the older games in the series, but we can possibly lump the Oracle games and Link's Awakening together, but that still leaves A Link to the Past and Twilight Princess! A Link to the Past takes place long after a war where many thieves go out and seek the Triforce, which was then obtained by Ganondorf. This could potentially be the game that takes place long after the events of Ocarina, but that means Twilight Princess has nowhere to go, as well as Wind Waker. All three of these games have precursor events that make it viable for each of them to take place after Ocarina, but that can't be the case. Maybe it goes something along the lines of Twilight Princess, A Link to the Past, then the Wind Waker collection? This makes some sense, but then where do the Oracle games go? This is way too much to manage. What is this? Some of it makes sense, but then the rest of it doesn't. Why in the world is Four Swords Adventures after Twilight Princess? Why, where was the Four Sword this whole time? Why would Skyward Sword be all the way at the beginning and then immediately followed up by the Minish Cap? This means that the Master Sword was hiding for centuries unknown, but lo and behold, it looks brand spanking new in Ocarina. I can understand the adult timelines, and seeing as how we do visit two realities in Ocarina, and that Link does leave one of them, so this split makes sense, but why is there a third split? There is isn't an ending in game where if Link dies against Ganon, the world goes into chaos. So, what makes it okay to use the excuse that failing to kill Ganon is a good reason to create another split? I'll make an exception for the third timeline split and, and when Link to the Past takes place, but how are the Link's Awakening and Oracle Games Link the same as the one in A Link to the Past? It makes only a slight bit of sense after reviewing it, but this is a timeline. It just doesn't make sense, and we know this is going to be outdated as soon as more games are coming out. You make everything worse! Supposedly multiple links are Drive Force Heroes, which means that it's completely unreasonable and crazy that somehow these games are together, and the fact that they're after A Link to the Past makes it worse! Did I mention that the original Zelda games are at the end of the bad timeline? This is so confusing! But at this point, I'm too tired to care, so... You! You... You can just go at the very end of all of the timelines where they all converge magically because that makes perfect sense. There! I'm done! It's all over! Yay! Finally! <laughs> it's done! Now we know that the next Zelda game coming out is Breath of the Wild 2, so I can finally sleep... Uh